This is an email I sent to one of my employees about an upcoming sales presentation. It reads, just to remind you that we have a sales presentation with Neotech this afternoon at 3 o'clock. This account is crucial to our new business development. Come prepared, look over the information I sent you before. I want you to be the lead on the account. Now this sounds pretty clear to me, but let's see what happened as a result. Jan, why weren't you prepared? I was. I read over all the information and the data that you sent me. But why weren't you ready to give the presentation? I didn't realize that you expected me to. But I emailed you about it. Yes, and you said that you'd like me to be prepared for the meeting and to lead the presentation, but I didn't realize that you expected me to present to the customers. But that's what I meant. That's not how I interpreted it. How's everything coming for the meeting this afternoon with Neotech? Pretty good. Uh, the preparations have gone well. I think we really have a pretty good shot at getting this account. Now, if we do get this account, I'd like to have a bigger role and be more involved than I have been in the past. Sometimes I feel insignificant compared to other employees. Oh, Jan, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm, I'm sorry you feel that way. I feel badly about that. Uh, we think of you as being such an integral part of the team, and, and you're such an important member of the organization. Uh, what about if you take the lead on the presentation this afternoon? That would be great. I'll start preparing right now. Sounds good. Oh, I'm sorry, Carrie. I guess I really blew it. And here I thought we were getting along so well. You know, I did too. I did too. I thought that we that we were really clicking and we connected so well with one another. I, I just don't understand it, but you know, I wouldn't worry about it. These things happen and, and there'll be other opportunities, I would assume. And besides, if, if you feel good because of your involvement, which I think is really important, then it's not a loss at all. Okay. As you know, Jan, we have our sales presentation with Neotech this afternoon, and I know you've been researching this quite a bit and doing a lot of preparation. I'd like for you to be the lead. I'd like you to head up the presentation. Um, can you make sure that everything is ready for the meeting? I'm not sure I understand. When you say you want me to take the lead and head up the presentation, do you mean that you would like me to present to the clients? That's exactly what I'm saying. I'd like you to take the primary presenting role, and then the rest of us will be a supporting role. Uh, how do you feel about that? I think it's a great opportunity. I'd love to do it. I would like to make sure that I'm fully prepared before we go in. Sounds perfect. Why don't you take a couple of hours, uh, go over the information, and then we'll meet in my office about 2 o'clock. That way we'll have an hour to go through the material and decide who should do what. Okay, that sounds good. I'll see you at 2. Sounds good. It looks like our preparation really paid off. I'll say. You know, they, they raised a number of objections, but because of our prep, I think that we were ready for them. We worked really well together. You anticipated things that I didn't. And likewise, Jan, you were ready with responses to things that I hadn't even anticipated. It, it really was a nice give and take and, and truly a team effort. Mm -hmm.